Okay, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna be doing that at 30 seconds and then we're gonna take a 15 second um, rest in between. I'm only gonna show two movements. So we're gonna go back and forth. I'll show you them before each combo we start with. So I'm gonna start off with a warm up. I want you to first, you could just start with your hands on either side. I just want you to tap your feet side to side. I'm gonna start the timer for uh, three minutes here. And then we will get right into the combos after. So again, you're just gonna tap your feet side to side. Good. Remember you can always work at your own pace here. Then we're gonna start adding some arms. So we're gonna bring them across your body. There's across the chest here. Just swinging the arms. So always gonna have big movement. So you can get you to warm up that body, get that blood flowing here. Kind of turn those hips a little bit here. Good, excellent. Now bring your hands over your head. Good, just reaching. So again, this is getting into that low impact jumping jack. So if you want to start, you can add a little bit of a hop. Or you can go right into a jumping jack if you want to. Up to just a little bit of a lower intensity. So up to you on your intensity. Good, excellent, you guys. Just get that heart rate up. I'm just gonna change the directions of your arms here. So you can end up going up and down here. So again, so if you're going here, just bringing those hands up. Good, or if you're jumping, hands are up. Good, just changing directions of your hands. That's all. Good. Then I want you to bring those arms in and out. So you're going like a chest press. So you're just going in that chest press. So right now I'm just focusing on those arms, keep the legs the same. So open your chest and close it. Very good. Okay, drop your hands and then just run it out here or just march it. So again, we're just jogging on the spot. You can start bringing those knees up a little bit here. Good, keep those hands onto the side. Breathe, knees come out a little bit higher. Excellent. All right, kicking those feet back now. Keeping those hands moving here, side to side. Kicking those legs. Breathe in, breathe out, you guys. Good, marching it out again. Marching it out. Bring your legs out. And then bring them back in. Bring them out. And then bring them back in. Good, keeping out the pain, bring it out. Okay, last one here. Excellent. I want you to hold it here. I want you to come into the center. Bring your arms in and out. Sorry, just ignore that timer. Bring those arms out. Focus on those heels. Push those hips back. Keep your levels here. Breathe in, breathe out. Push with those heels. Good, hands into the center. Big movements here, excellent. Two more here. Last one. And let's come into that hamstring um, stretch here. So I want you to bring that right foot, uh, toe facing upwards, push your hips back, and then bring it back to the center. Then you're gonna add your arms. So bring your arms up to shoulder height, and then bring it back to center. Push those hips back and up. Good. Again, big movements. Push the hips back and bring up. Good. Down, up, down, up. Good, breathe. You got this. Two more left here. One more. Excellent. Switch to the other side. Hold on your left foot. Have that toe facing towards you here. Again, bring those hands up to shoulder height. Twist those hips back and bring it back. Good. It's all about getting that hip and getting that stretch into those hamstrings. You can pick up your pace. Again, 
again, big movements here, everyone. Get that blood flowing. So close here. Two more left, last few. One more. Very good. Marching on you guys. All right, I want you to keep on moving. I'm going to explain the two movements we're going to start off with. So your first one here is that you're going to go into a narrow squat and then you're going to have a leg lift. So you're going to come into that narrow squat, push those hips back, and then you're going to extend that leg, bring it up to hip height, and then bring it back down. You just stay on that same leg, but if you want, you can switch. Up to you, because we've got three rounds here. All right, so narrow squat, leg lift. Then your second movement is that we're going to be going into a plank. Hands extended. Then you're going to end up having your legs come um, crossing underneath. So you're going to kick it to this side. So I'm going to show you. Legs extended, coming underneath, and repeating. At any time, you can stay here. I'm going to add levels to that one. Okay, you guys, let's get started. We've got 30 seconds, so get ready. Let's get into those narrow squats and side kicks. Okay, and three, two, one. Narrow squats, you guys. Push those hips back and bring it to the side. You can always change each side. Good, push the hips back. Drive through those heels. Feel it in your glutes. Good, lift that leg. Get into those hips, glutes. You can bring your hands up now. Good, work a little bit of those arms up to shoulder height. Nice job, excellent. Keep switching those legs, push those hips back, and time. All right, get into your place, everyone. First level, time extended, you can stay here. First level is that you're gonna kick that leg out to the side, rotate. Third level, okay, let's go for it, everyone. This is your third level. Stay in that plank, take one leg. Excellent. Rotate it. Nice job. I'm gonna keep showing you the levels, okay? Level one, level two, keep changing each side. Leg coming underneath. Get a rotation, work that core. Good, or lift that arm up. Ooh, hold it there for a second, keep it up, good. Woo. All right, round nine, or sorry, second round. <laughs> so let's get into those squats. Remember, keep on moving, you guys. And let's go for it again. Narrow squat, and then lift the leg. Push back, lift the leg. Arms can come up if you like. Breathe. Core is tight. Pushing those hips back, avoiding those knees coming forward. Good, trying to get those quads, but also getting into those hips. Push through those heels. Down, up, keep it up. Almost there. Woo. Yes. Okay, let's come into our place here. Arms extended. Okay, let's drop that hip. Remember to kick that one leg out. Get a rotation, come back to the center, and repeat on the other side. Let's go, everyone. 30 seconds here. Rotate. Drop that hip again to the other side, or twist with one hand. Good, yes, one leg underneath, excellent. Good, try to find your balance, keep nice and strong. Tight, 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 everyone. Remember, at any time you can touch that ground or keep that foot off the ground. Good, in time. 15 seconds again, now we are in our third round. <laughs> That's all we got, we got three rounds of each combo here. Five seconds left here. All right, narrow squats, here we go. Lift those legs up. Keep changing them. Woo! Good. Or hands up. Push. Do those heels. Feel in the glutes, too. Woo! Arms are optional. Remember, you can always keep them in the center. Want to try to get more of those legs. Breathe. Always think of keeping that core nice and tight. 
Yeah, good job. Okay, last one here for our planks. And then we take a break. Okay, arms extended. Slightly drop those hips. Get ready. Breathe. All right, here we go. Twist it. Take that one foot, tap it to the ground, or lift it up from the ground. Good. Rotating, having one hand hold it for a second, then switch to the other side. Lots of balancing in this one, keeping that core nice and tight. Tap the foot or lift the foot up. Nice job, everyone. Keep up the good work. And three, two, and one. Nice. All right, you made it through this first combo. Please grab some water here. We've got 45 seconds of a break so I can show you the next movement. Nice job, you guys. All right, so we've got um, a walking out push-up. The arms are gonna come a little bit wider when we come out to the walk out push-ups. And then we're, we're gonna go into a tabletop. We're gonna learn how to tap our knees or our ankle anytime you can stay in that position. So here we go for showing the two movements. At first, remember, keep on moving here, you guys, while I'm talking. All right, your walk out push-ups. Okay, just like an inchworm, I want you to walk it out. Bring those arms out just a little bit wider. I want you to come down to that 90 degree, push yourself back up, and then walk yourself all the way back up. All right, that's your walkout. Tabletop, you're coming, taking those hands, pull those shoulders back, okay? Lift those hips up. I want you to hold it here at level one. Level two is you're gonna tap the opposite knee to head, you're gonna Opposite, twisting and tapping or those ankles, all right? So you're constantly going to that opposite ankle here with hand. All right, here we go. We've got 30 seconds again. And three, two, one, walking out push-ups. Here we go, okay? Walk it out, nice and wide. Anytime you need to drop your knee, bring it back up, lift those knees up and walk it back up. Lots of level threes, walk it out, level two, right? Keep those knees, come down to 90 degrees, push with that upper body. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Lift it up, walk it back down. Anytime here, you can drop those knees if you need to. All right, good job. Okay, we're going to go on that tabletop. Let's try this one here. So come on down, right shoulders back, hands nice and this is level one of your tabletop. Okay, here we go. So opposite arm to opposite knee, lots of balance. So take your time, tap the opposite. So add a little bit of a twist. Lift up that leg, tap the knee, or tap the ankle. Good, again, find your balance, keep that core nice and tight. Yes, good job. Okay, time you guys. Come back to that walking up push up. Keep on moving while we're waiting for that beat. Five seconds and let's get back into it. Okay, here we go. Let's walk it out. Come down. Try to keep those legs straight. Slightly walk those hands out. Come down to 90 degrees. Push with that upper body and come on back up. And do it again. Keep it going, everyone. Excellent. Remember, you can drop those knees if you need to. Bring those arms out slightly, those elbows out. Push it up and walk it back up. And that's it for that one there. Good. Okay, let's come back to that tabletop, you guys. Remember, keep on moving. Catch your breath throughout those breaks. Pull those shoulders back. All right, lift it up. Okay, opposite elbow, or sorry, opposite arm to knee or ankle. Slowly tap, do a slight rotation. Very good with your levels, you guys. Excellent. Tight, finding your balance looks good. Keeping those uh, core nice and tight. Alternating, yes. Woohoo!
right, let's go tap it over, make a rainbow, and try to line it up back with the hip. Reach it over, lift up. Good, squeeze. Make a rainbow over that leg. Tap it, squeeze it. Up, lift, squeeze, 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 and tap it. I'm hoping you actually feel that burn. Pick up that pace, squeeze. And time, very good. All right, we're coming back into those jumping jacks here. Last one for jumping jacks. Keep moving, everyone. Keep that blood flowing. Keep your body warm. All right, here we go. Last one for jumping jacks. Level one. Level two. Level three. Hands over up to shoulder height. Yes. Keep up the good work. You can move any direction you want. Keep it up. Woo! Breathe. You did a great job, you guys. All right, okay. Let's come back down. I'll tell you when to switch for each leg here. So you can start on either leg, and I'll tell you halfway. Breathe, 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 and three, two, one, let's come down. Remember, any leg to start off with, let's come down and up. And then I'll tell you when to switch your legs. Breathe, yes. Tapping over, okay, switch to the other leg. Good, lift up the left one or the right one. Down and up, squeeze the glutes, tight, lift. Excellent. Three, two, and one. Excellent job, you guys. All right, we made it through the third combo. We're on the fourth one already. We got just these two left here. Keep up, grab some water, please. Keep on moving. All right, for this one is we've got a side lunge. This one will have to keep on one side again too. So for first, think of that your left arm is going out to the side because you're gonna tap your foot outward. So the right foot's gonna go out like a squat and then left foot is extended. So you push that hip back. So you're gonna tap it here and then you're gonna add a crunch. So you're gonna push the hip back and do a slight rotation with that arm. All right, so we're gonna try that one. That's your lunge. You can stay with the lunge if you want. Then we're going into a plank here. Hold on, we're going to a plank. And this time you're gonna do I's and T's and then going back. So you're gonna have your arms extended here. You're gonna lift your arm up to shoulder height. Go to the side, line it up with your shoulder and then push it back. All right, so then you can switch to each arm. You can stay on the same arm or switch it, either one. All right, guys, we're back at it again. Good, keep moving, side lunges. Remember, have that left arm out first. All right, in three, two, one, here we go. All right, side lunge. Push the hip back, get used to that lunge at first, right? Keep that chest elevated so we keep that back nice and neutral. And now here comes the crunch, rotate. Push, lift the knee up, rotate it, get that elbow to knee. Good, and then choose your pace. Remember, always the left leg is being extended. Good, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Good. All right, let's come on uh, down to your planks. So, first level, you can stay on your knees and lift those arms up. Level two is lifting the knees up. So again, arm up to shoulder height. Go into shoulder height to the T, and then push that arm back. You can switch it to the other arm, to a T, and then push it back. Try to keep those hips in line, up to shoulder height, T's, push it back. Switch to the other arm, up, side, back. Yes, good. So it's just like having that letter Y and then a T. Very good, okay. And then we are going back into the left side. So right arm is out, left leg is coming out like a squat, chest is elevated, 
okay? And then tap it back. Okay, let's go for it. Push those hips back. Avoid having those knees coming forward. Again, only start off with the lunge, and then add that opposite elbow to knee. Good. Add a rotation, crunch it, rotate. Get into those obliques. As we get into that side lunge, you can pick up your speed. One level at a time, making sure you're feeling that extension. Yeah, good. All right, okay, coming back down into those planks. Remember always changing the arms? First level, you can stay on those knees, make sure you get that extension and that dog goes. Bring the arm up to shoulder height. Bring out to the side of the lever T, and then bring it back. Switch to the other arm, shoulder height. Good, bring it out to the T, and push the hand back, or knees are up. Good. So I'm going to look back with my arms. Good, shoulder height. Out to the side, and push back. Take your time as you're balancing on that one arm. And time. Excellent. Okay, this time I'll have to tell you to switch each leg for the lunges, all right? Five seconds here. Left arm out. Tapping it out. Okay, go to the side. Remember, always push those hips back, just like you would in a squat. Good, add those crunches if you can. Chest is elevated, that chest out. All right. And switch to the other side. Left arm. Let's go. Tap it back. And crunch. Good. Nice and slow. Kick it to the back. Good. Switch it. That was great. Do a couple more here. Yeah. Good job. All right. Okay. Last one here for planks, you guys. Hold it here. Breathe. Get ready for those planks. All right, in three, two, one, go for our planks. Shoulder height up, to the side, to the back. Choose if you want to be on your knees. Keep it deep into that core. Good. Strong body now. Uh, one Bring it into the side and back. Keep up the good work. Make sure you're switching those arms. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right. And that was it for that combo, you guys. Woohoo! Yeah, I hope you guys are sweaty. <laughs> All right, again, grab some water, please. We're going on to our very last combo here. Okay, we'll finish up with doing some tabletop, actually tricep dips here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a different way. Have your hands out a little bit to the side so you're not holding and putting so much pressure onto the shoulder. Then we're gonna go into these as a core exercise to finish it up. All right, so tabletop. Here, I was gonna stop my camera. Okay, so tabletop triceps, hands out to the side this time. Hips are up. Walk those feet out a little bit to give the leg, and you're just slightly dropping those elbows down to that 90 degrees and push it back up. So we're working into those triceps. Think of only arms and elbows. All right, and then your plank, or sorry, your V's, hands behind your ears. Opposite elbow, again, to knee, lifting up those legs, or legs are up, opposite elbow to knee, and rotating. Let's try those. All right. Let's stay on the ground, get into that tabletop here. 30 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. So again, hands are just slightly out, like kind of like a duck kind of, or a penguin kind of movement here, is their arms out to the side, pushing back, coming down with, just using those elbows. So walk those feet out, get the length down and up. Elbows bending. Extending the arms, pushing back, push through the arms, breathe. Nice, very good. Okay, now you're coming into that V position, keeping that back nice and neutral. Chest is out, hands behind your ears. Level one, lift the leg off the elbow to me. 
knees. Okay, let's go for it. Level one, lift the leg, do a rotation. Second, lift your legs up. Opposite, elbow to knee. And then third level, if you really want to do a knee tuck, you can extend it out and then bring it back in. Woo! Lots of different levels here. We got those obliques or knee tucks. To just finish up that core. Breathe. Good. Always keep that core engaged. All right, we're back to the tabletop triceps. Okay, hands out to the side. Walk your legs out to get that length. And then try to come down to that 90 degrees. Let's go for it. Here we go. Just focus on the elbow and the arms. Down and up. Try to get that full extension, the arms, squeeze, and then try to bend that elbow, and then bring it back up with that body weight. Good, if you have a ledge, excellent to use, perfect, or a couch if you need to. Lots of things if you have something beside you to help you out with that tricep dip. Nice, all right. Okay, we're coming into those V's. So again, make sure it's very important that your back is nice and neutral so that chest has to be elevated. All right, hands behind your ears. Lift the legs, opposite elbow to knee. Keep up the good work or knees up, opposite elbow to knee. Or bring those knees in, extend those legs out. Woo, trying to keep that back nice and neutral. Awesome, you have different levels. You choose what works best for you. Keep it up. Tight. Squeeze. Excellent. All right, last one here for triceps. Again, um, I'm seeing if there's some options. If you have a couch beside you or if you have a little ledge, if you want to use that for your dips, please do so. If you don't, let's get into that position on the floor. Okay, 30 seconds left. This is it for those dips. Stand it up. Have those hands slightly outwards so it's not too much more pressure onto that shoulder. Down, up. Focus on those arms only. Get that extension. Good, 
switch on to the other side here. Find your balance. Breathe. Good, and very last stretch for those hamstrings. Same thing as you did in the warm up. Again, just bring that right foot out. And then I want you to push those hips back. Arms on the opposite leg, holding it here. Feel that stretch through your hamstrings. If you feel your um, calves are tight, pull your toe towards you. And then switch to the other side. Good, make sure it's on the left side, pushing that hip back. Feel the burn there. And three, two, and one. All right, you guys, that is it. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. You're on muted now here. <laughs> All right, thanks you guys. Good job today. Thanks very much, it was great, Amy. Oh thanks. good, I'm glad, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Nice seeing you guys. Hi, Amy.